compete on season seven of the Block NZ, well, now is your chance to apply. Challenge host Shelley Ferguson and site foreman Peter Wolfham are here to tell us why you should welcome you two. Thanks. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I believe, first up, that it's season seven. Mm. Uh, so let's start with you, Shelley. Very exciting to be gearing up for this one. What, I mean, what do you think makes the show so successful? I mean, seven runs of anything in New Zealand is pretty amazing. Seven runs, I yeah. think. Kiwis have this innate love of DIY for a start. So we love to watch other people attempting or succeeding mm. um, to work on their homes. And then I think New Zealand also has a massive competitive streak. You can see it with our sports. And there's a huge competitive element. Even school kids, you know, they pick a team, they pick a colour and they get right behind them. Uh, number three, everyone loves other people looking like an idiot. <laughs> so there's a massive dress-up component. I dressed up willingly as a tomato last year. Oh, great. Living things, dinner party. So it's just fun. Love it a good dress-up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, would you exactly. agree with that, Pete? Oh, I don't dress up. <laughs> oh, Thank you very much. Oh, we're going to change. Yeah. Season yeah, seven. Season Pete seven. seven. Dresses up. Yeah. <laughs> Peter's a tomato. No, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> but, but, yeah, Shelley's absolutely right. I mean, we're, we're definitely competitive. I think we're all curious as well, and we love to see what other people do. Um, there's a reason that you know people buy the magazines and look online all the time about design and DIY. Mm. So it's it's a natural expression of that. You like to get ideas too. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and you know, for those that aren't too familiar with the show, I don't know where they've been. But for those that aren't, um, can you give us a quick rundown on how it all works? Um, look, <laughs> at a basic level, it's really simple. So um, four groups, whether that's um, male and female, or two males together, two females together. And then you have essentially an unfinished house that you have to complete. Uh, you complete a room a week, and if your room is judged the best room, then you're rewarded with a prize and you need the money because in the end, in order to finish, you've got to manage your budget and ideally you need to win prizes to get more money to finish. Um, and then at the end of it, all of the houses are sold. Now that's an open public process and they sell for what the market will pay for them. If you've managed your budget, if you've produced an outstanding house, then you'll make a profit. Right, and that's what the contestants get, isn't it? The profit. You keep the profit, and then mm -hmm. those that make the greatest profit uh, take a hundred thousand dollars prize as well. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, so Absolutely. tell me a little bit about the application process. Oh, you've got three days, people. Yes. I talk to so many people who say, oh, "I think I'd be really good. I'd love Maybe to do it," day. but they just don't get yeah. around to it. You've got three days left. Okay. To get your applications in place. And what do you have to do? Like, what do you actually have to do? Do you have to say, here's a house I designed earlier. I mean, what do you do? <laughs> That's right. Let me show you around what I've just, I've previously prepared and show them around. No, I think it's, it's got to be a combination of, you, you need some ability, right? It's really, really oh, hard. We're out. Uh, <laughs> um, so don't underestimate the, the physical, the emotional toll that it will take on you. So you need to be prepared for that. And obviously you need to have, we were discussing this earlier, a certain confidence about what you can express, how you want to express yourself with your design. So you need to have a really clear idea about that and, um, and prepare, a, I suppose a video is the best way, send that in and go, hey look, this is, this is us and we think we'd be great on the block. And uh, does it matter what combination? Can it be friends? Can it be a couple? Because I know Absolutely. Jesse and Mark here at the cafe are keen to enter. Right. <laughs> I can see a few good combos already, man. That'd be hilarious. At least the food will be better. Because <laughs> that's a struggle. That's a struggle. Oh, I think any combination, um, it's just yep. that mix of creativity and practicality. Well, okay, well, well, I've got a question on that. Throw the cafe viewers that are going to apply, and you should be applying, because this could be life-changing, throw them a bone. What's more important, do you think? Is it the design or is it the finishing? <laughs> Here we go, Pete. Okay. No one I, likes a sloppy paint job. I no. am going to be controversial and say the design. Okay. Because I think those people who've had a really, really strong design eye, backed up by someone who can do that grunt, do that grit, do that hard labour. Um, they have a cohesive view of the house. So even when these challenges are thrown at them by the judges each week, um, there is a tendency to go, oh, well, I need to make that room a bright colour. And you end up with a house which is a big hodgepodge. If you've mm. got an amazing design eye, you can win those challenges but still create a beautifully cohesive home. Okay. And then, you know, perspective, thinking big picture, the block is an amazing platform. 
um, to launch a career off or to True. go into a new industry. So at least increase the social media followers. Yeah, it's <laughs> that very, impact. At the very late least. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> so, 10,000 followers. So once filming starts, Pete, I mean, what actually happens? Do people really forget that the cameras are there or do they always have that sort of peripheral in the back of their mind? Like, is that my best angle? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's We'd very like little that. of that, We'd to be honest. <laughs> um, it's always amazed me over the, the seasons that people become very proficient very quickly at being on television. And the reality is we're making a show, right? Yeah. So the cameras are there from very early in the morning till quite late at night. And yes, you're being filmed all day long. But in the end, you've also got these deadlines. You've got to get that room finished. Yeah. So uh, if you're worried about, is this my best side? Chances are you're not going to get that room finished. I'd so be you just get swearing, it. actually. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a bit of that, don't worry. How do you think you two would go on the block? I think we'd be all right. Mel would be the boss, I think. <laughs> would I? Yeah, you know, because you'd organise me. I'm a bit slack like that. Um, but, but okay, look. I think we'd be good, but too busy, can't apply. Um, uh, just one more question. Any secrets about this year that you can reveal to us here? Anything you know about this upcoming season? It'll oh, be great. It's a sealed. It'll be oh, great. It'll, it'll be, be It'll be great. It'll be outstanding. It will be <laughs> yeah. unlike other seasons. What kind of houses? Mm. What sort of area? Oh, what kind of nothing? Alexis nothing. Alexis nothing. Alexis Expect the unexpected. Oh yeah. no, good out. Okay, that's a, that's a nice little hashtag there, right there. Hey, well, guys, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Um, Three days, get your applications this in. This is your last chance to apply for season seven of the Block NZ. Applications close at midnight this Saturday. You can check out the free now website for all the details.